Hi, my name's Dr Shree Datta and I'm a consultant obstetrician and gynaecologist in London. I'm also an ambassador for the British Medical Association Research Foundation. Over the next few minutes, I'm going to talk about the different types of coil contraception and how they work. So firstly, what exactly is a coil? Well, it's a plastic device that sits inside your womb and it's usually inserted by your doctor. Bear in mind, just after the insertion, you may get some cramps and these can last up to two or three weeks, coming and going, almost like period pains. The other thing to note about having the coil inserted is that it's great at providing contraception for three, five, even ten years, depending on how old you are and the different type of coil you choose. However, it doesn't protect you from sexually transmitted infections. So for that, you'll need to make sure that you've got barrier contraception at the same time. Now, there are two different types of coil, the copper coil and the progesterone only coil. Let's talk about the copper coil first. Again, this is a type of coil that can be inserted by your doctor and it's actually got copper embedded in the plastic coil. It's inserted into your womb and can last up to five years in terms of pro providing contraception. So what are the side effects So, Well, the copper coil is fantastic as a contraceptive device, but it may not be so great if you've got heavy periods because it can make your periods heavier. At the time of insertion, as I said earlier, you may get some cramps and there is a risk of infection because this is a foreign device that's being inserted into your womb. You may also get some headaches, some backache as well in the forthcoming weeks after it's inserted. But really that's the main side effect, those are the main side effects of the copper coil. One of the key benefits of the copper coil is that it can act as a form of emergency contraception. So you can have it inserted up to five days after unprotected intercourse. But it does mean that you need to book an appointment with your doctor as quickly as possible and make sure that it is inserted by the five day deadline. OK, so we've spoken about the copper coil. What about the progesterone only coil, so the marina coil? Well, this is slightly different. Unlike the copper coil, it releases low dose progesterone hormone. And again, it can last up to five years in total. So it means that you don't need to take pills on a daily basis for contraception. However, again, it doesn't protect from sexually transmitted infections. And unlike the copper coil, it can't be used as a form of emergency contraception. The benefit of the marina coil is that it does last for five years and it can actually reduce the heaviness of your periods, unlike the copper coil. In some cases, for women who experience painful periods, it can also help with the pain that they experience during their periods. So what about the side effects of the marina coil? Well, again, there may be some pain on insertion and there is a small risk of infection in the weeks um, from when the coil was inserted. But there's also a risk of skin changes occurring and the feeling of bloatedness, which can be transient, so it can disappear within the first few weeks. With both types of coil, it's really important to make sure that you are checked over within about the first six to eight weeks after the coil is inserted. And that's usually done by an examination at your doctor's. This is just to check that the coil's in the right place and the threads that poke through the opening of your womb are visible. You can also try and check that the threads are in place yourself, but if that's not possible, it can be difficult to self-examine. It's always worth popping to your doctor to make sure the threads are in position. So just to recap, today we've looked at the two key different types of coil that are out there for contraception. We've looked at their benefits, we've considered some of the risks and their different ways of working. My name's Dr. Shree Datta and I hope this has been helpful.